firm that had been involved in a similar project in another jurisdiction. Uh, the committee shortlisted three of those proposals uh, in a process that uh, in discussion took about 10 minutes, I would say, uh, where they, they, each, they each ranked their proposals one through eight, uh, and we took the top three, and there was pretty, it was fairly easy to reach, reach consensus at that point. Um, and the, the top three firms were um, uh, Consolidated uh, Construction Management, Griffin Structures, and MAC-5. Um, that was on a Monday morning. Uh, all of the firms had previously been telephoned by me, telling them to be on standby for the following Thursday. So the, the, the proposals came in like on Thursday to be on standby within a week, so they had relatively short turnaround time for any preparation. Uh, so we finished that process about 12.30 or so on a, on a Monday morning. I called all the firms and said, be here, you know, depending on the time, 8.30, 9.30, 11 o'clock, something like that. On Thursday, uh, those three firms uh, did show up. The panel consisted of the same ad hoc committee with two additions. Uh, I provided staff, and then we had a gentleman named Gary Thompson, who was the retired deputy public works director in San Jose, responsible for the, their civic center project, as well as about 200 other similar projects. Um, and we interviewed all three firms. All three firms were given about an hour, 20 minutes for presentation, 40 minutes for a series of structured questions, uh, which were almost all the same except for a couple of clarifying questions for some of the, you know, each of the firms had some minor issues that needed clarification, went over those. Uh, at the conclusion of that, the committee uh, spoke about each of the, the firms and ranked them and uh, was unanimous. I think one person changed their ranking during that process, listening to the discussion, and MAC-5 was unanimously uh, chosen by the subcommittee members as number one. Uh, that was on a Thursday. Uh, later that day, I called the principal for MAC-1, having already told them all, again, to be prepared to come in the following Tuesday for negotiations. Uh, on that Tuesday, uh, myself and Bob Williamson, uh, another person from Interwest who's a, an architect uh, who'd been responsible for projects in, San, in Sacramento, uh, met with the principal and another senior member of the firm, and, uh, the attorney. And, and then subsequently met with the city attorney to go over language because they did have three or four minor deviations from our standard language. City attorney said, yeah, no problem with that, yeah, no problem. No, can't do that, sorry. And they said, okay, we, we accept that. Uh, negotiated the scope, which is where we took their proposal, the original request for proposal, and took all of the bullet points out of the RFP, plus another 20 or so bullet points from their proposal, put them into the scope of work, which is what you have in front of you, accepted their fee, but because we added about 20 tasks to their scope, we said, we expect you to do all of this at the same fee. In addition to which, the, the other item that they offered was that their principal will remain involved. He, he, he fills two roles. One is he's a senior cost estimator, so he'll do that uh, at a standard senior cost estimator billing rate. Then he'll also fill, fill the role of principal in charge, providing monthly quality control over the 